Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to do an update on the eggs. This is the eggs that I have in the sodium silicate. It is March 11th. It's been one month and 11 days. And the reason I stretched it out is as you can see, I only have nine eggs that I stored in the refrigerator. At the same time I purchased these, they're from the same batch. And these are store purchased eggs. They are not your home eggs. If you're doing your home eggs, you can store them an awful long time, just as they are, just don't wash them. But if you're having to use store-bought eggs, you want to do this. Now, I did a lot more research on the sodium silicate. It is not going to harm you. Um, if you have really sensitive skin, then wear gloves. Otherwise, don't worry about it. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got some water in the bowl, and we're going to put one of our eggs in there that was stored in the refrigerator. And it looks like I didn't get quite enough water to actually see how much it floats. So let's put a little more water in there. All right. It is not really floating very much, which is kind of nice. And let's grab one of these eggs. That's the sodium silicate. Wow, that is interesting already. Let me zoom you in because I noticed the light is in the way. All right, let's move these around here. Maybe this bowl will be shadowed a little more. Okay, can't really tell too much from this angle. This is the refrigerated one, and this is the one stored. Neither one are floating on the surface. Now let me bring you down to eye level. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you can really see. The one on the left is the refrigerated one, and see the date? And the one on the right is the one in the sodium silicate. It has not moved at all. It's not pointing up. It's not going bad at all. I am so excited about this because in a month and a half, this one is starting to float and this one is not budging. So let's go ahead and crack them open and see what we get. All right, so I've been heating up my pan. I'm gonna go ahead and try to just kind of spoon out the refrigerated egg. And then the uh, sodium silicate egg. And I did get a shell in there. I don't, uh, wouldn't recommend using the shell of your sodium silicate egg to get shells out. Of course, I've got to have a little salt and pepper because I am going to eat this. If I'm afraid to eat it now, there's no way I'm going to eat it in an SHTF situation. Because there's doctors now. I still find that interesting that the sodium silicate egg has no air in it, but yet the white is still changing. So by the floating aspect, it says it's, it's a fresher egg, but by the appearance factor, it says it's not. And yes, I did smell these off camera and they smell fine. Always use your nose and your eyes to determine if something's good. Don't just shove it in your mouth and pray you survive. I think this white over here was from this egg. This is gonna take a little while. Let me come back to you when it's done. I did open a second egg and I get almost the same result. As you can see, the white is uh, raised a bit on this one. 
So I might find further in the container, maybe that egg in the container was just older than the other one. So I'm going to throw that one in too. Right over here with the other one. And I'll go ahead and cook all three. All right, the first thing you're going to notice is the yolks are much softer on the sodium silicate. Um, they cracked really easy, and so, of course, there's not much runny in there. And then the refrigerated egg held together pretty good. You can also notice that the whites are really thin on both of these. This one's a little thicker, but the refrigerated egg is much better. So let's give it a taste here. Smells normal. Tastes normal. I want to see what the difference is. This one is actually rubber, more rubbery tasting. The white is much more tender in this one. The yolk I guess I need to find a overcooked piece. The yolk tastes the same. Let's see if this one over here tastes any different. No, except I forgot to salt and pepper it. So I would say at this point, they are both edible. The uh, sodium silicate egg is not floating in water, whereas the refrigerated egg is floating in water. But the refrigerated egg has more of a bubble and a higher yolk than the sodium silicate. I'm hoping at some point in time, this one rapidly deteriorates the refrigerated and the sodium silicate one holds strong. So that's what I'm hoping to see because right now they're both edible even though uh, there's no bubble on the whites here and uh, there is on this one. But I think it's going to rapidly change as time wears on on these eggs. And we will see you in another month or so uh, and see how long we can get these eggs to last. Blessings.